that and move on uh, to bond yields and how they're tracking today globally. Simon Michelle from Fig Securities joining us live. Simon, great to have your company on the program this afternoon. I know market was pretty quiet heading into that US presidential debate. Have you seen yields move much since? Look, not really. I just had a look before I uh, came on, Ingrid, and uh, still very, very steady as she goes. Lots of zeros around the place. So not a lot of movement at all in yields. Um, in fact, we probably saw the long end drift a couple of points lower. Uh, interestingly, we did see quite a weak um, demand for a two-year Treasuries tender. That was interesting considering you know, we're moving closer to that possible movement in December. But in the long end, you know, the 30-year US is currently about 2.33. That was above 3% when we had that hike in December last year. Right. So, so if the presidential debate isn't going to move yields right now, what will? Well, it's interesting. I think, look, it could be quite like this. I think, you know, if there's uncertainty around the US election, people could sit on the sidelines and seek the safety of bonds and just sort of wait this out. Um, you know, there's not a lot of data over the next week. So, you know, it's really going to be interesting. I think um, we're hearing more and more about, you know, are we going to see that continued demand in the long end of the, the bond curve? Both both uh, in the US and also here in Australia, especially as our uh, volume of issuance increases, we have seen offshore uh, holdings of Australian government bonds drift substantially lower. So I think that's uh, interesting to keep an eye on. All right. Yeah. In terms of domestic issuances as well, are you seeing much activity there? Look, really fascinating. We had a double uh, AI. It's owned by Suncorp Group. They've done a tier two issue. They had demand for $900 million. Mm. Uh, they've issued 330. So it just goes to show there's still a lot of demand for some good yield there. Uh, a, a level around 1% above what you'd see on a similar major bank tier too. So good value for investors there. All right, Simon Michelle, always appreciate that update. Thank you. Thank you. Quick view. Uh